He is Liberty City's art ambassador. Now Adonis Parker is leaving his mark on the community with his creative spirit and a new partnership with the county. He's bringing an artist and residency program to the Liberty Square Apartments. The project gives artists a space to live and create a discounted rate in exchange for creating pieces to beautify the community and educate children about art. Adonis, who grew up in public housing, is well aware of how encounters with art can influence and shape a child's essence and psyche. The officials he's working with recognize it as well. What's above their heads in terms of the bricks and mortar, although that's very important, but it's also about what are we doing to integrate what we do with the community. Exposure to art at an early age can have a, a major difference in the trajectory of the kid's life. You know, we know that they do better in school. My goal is to paint murals with the kids, teach them some techniques, teach them about airbrushing, t-shirt making, and just kind of like open the doors for their hunger for art. And in addition to the Artists in Residency program, Adonis is also opening an exhibit called Where We Stand. It's his way of keeping the fight against racial injustice in the forefront, as well as serving as a peaceful means to unify us through art. And Adonis Parker is joining us on Voices this morning. Welcome to the show, brother. I appreciate it, man. It's beautiful. You know, man. We've talked from time to time. Yes, we now have. Now we're here again. <laughs> yes, 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 Adonis Parker, a.k.a. Biggie. I mess with him. You know, this yeah. is my man, right? Yeah. Now, we've been doing this for a minute, man, and I, I got to ask you about the Art and Residency Program. Mm -hmm. Did this coincide, meant to coincide with Art Basel uh, going on? Actually, this was, um, this was a, a last-minute um, uh, decision. Uh, this is a, a plan, and actually it's one of my um, ideas I had for probably close to 20 years, wow. and I was telling, uh, we opened last night, and I was explaining to um, uh, Mr. Milo, which is a developer-related, also Michael Liu, that uh, this is something I needed and I wanted for so long to, you know, to have. And and I, my mom, she always wanted. She said, whatever you, <clears throat> whatever you desire, whatever you need, you know, you must become. So that door was not open for me, but I was able to open a door for others. And that's that's. That's pretty much um, my, my ministry as far as art goes. Yeah. Well, let's talk about your ministry as far yeah. as art, because uh, uh, most of you are aware of the power of art in all forms. So, mm -hmm. so talk about the power of art. Brother, it's, 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 uh, <clears throat> it's almost like you, you know, you're playing with electricity, but it won't hurt, harm you. It's just like you're a superhero, but you have to, to understand and know how to control your powers. And what we do, we turn the switch on for the artists. Yeah. And I we, love this, what we're yes. looking at. I apologize for cutting you off. Just some of these pieces. And yes. this is your work. Yes, absolutely. I love this. Yeah. I love this. I did a series of, uh, you know, I kind of, this is the yellow canary here. Um, I have the red robin. That's the blue falcon there that was actually purchased last night at the show. Um, and Why I, do you call it the Blue Falcon? Because I wanted to have a, a flair. I wanted to name uh, my pieces in the show after birds because the freedom of flight. Mm. Yeah. I love that. Yes. And t tell me more about where we stand and the message you hope to st send with that. Where we stand is actually a message for the community because we know where we stand as That's a group, right. as a collective. But the message uh, is mainly uh, <clears throat> where we stand as a people, first of all. Um, how, how are we going to stop? Uh, making excuses about some of our shortcomings that we do have control over and where we stand is we, we, we're keeping our footing with the same message that was in the, the early 30s 40s 50s and 60s that still has not um, uh, our nation has not addressed you know, as far as the equality and also our ideals as, as far as our people doing what we need to do you know to get to that next level and I think what's most important in all of that is that we cannot get there just in a, in a paint a box to where it's just only African Americans because you will we'll never succeed man it has to be a collective and it has to be a group of good hum humanitarians you know, that's to right. reach that goal. And that's what I love about art because it yes. unifies us in so many different ways. And after, what, 20 years of Art Basel, do you think that the organizers are beginning to be more inclusive in our work, especially in light of the racial reckoning that's been happening across the country? Absolutely. I mean, uh, uh, black art has, all, has always been a theme. It's kind of, been, it, 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 it has been, a, a, um, I should say, a secret. Because even after Art Basel, when I was actually participating in it, um, people were, were, after Art Basel was over, they were still purchasing my work. So I knew it was, it was something going on with African-American art. But 
we had to get uh, on that stage, man, that international stage. And um, we just kept, I just came up with this idea. I talked to, you know, Milo and um, uh, Michael Lou, and we needed these, we need somewhere to paint. We need somewhere to create. Mm. And you got Winwood in the bakehouse, which I, you know, I love that. Yeah. Uh, but we have to, this is where we stand. And we'll take the, the desolate uh, um, and barren walls and we will make uh, lemonade out of lemons. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I'm, I'm looking at uh, uh, one of the artists uh, here that's taking advantage of the, uh, the program right. going on at Liberty Square. Can you tell me where can folks check out your artwork if uh, they're interested? Uh, do they go to Liberty Square? Where can they check out your artwork or learn more about what you're doing? Um, I'm actually, I, I know this is crazy. I have a, a, a new um, website. It's under construction, but AdonisParker.com, spelled mm -hmm. with two Ds, A-D-D-O-N-I-S Parker.com. Um, I'm connected to One United Bank. You know, that's my platform. That's Those right. are my people, you know, and we're intertwined with that uh, uh, too, uh, to this day. Um, I, uh, DonsParker.com or Liberty Square, that's where we have our show now, up, up and running. I've had, what, four or five major shows there, man. We, <laughs> I've activated that space. Uh, at, at, at one time, I kind of questioned myself, but God works in mysterious ways, man, and he moved. He sure and now is. that place is a actual uh, production um, spot where we can just... It's a positive, it's so positive. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, I love yeah. what you're doing, my brother. Keep doing it. Yes, sir. Uh, keep unifying and, and keep educating. Yes, sir. Uh, Adonis Park, art activist, ambassador, you name it. This is our man right here. <laughs> keep doing what you're doing. Yes, God bless you. God bless you as well. Yep, thank you.